Jacob was born with a congenital heart disease. At 11 months old, he had a stroke, and they told us if he lived, he would be blind and paralyzed. Um, and at six years old, he invented the bat ball. I invented the bat ball because kids can play baseball, and they can't lose the balls. I was impressed. First time I'd seen a kid really come up with something I thought was marketable. But... I was bringing Jacob to my mom's house, and Jacob had wanted to bring his um, bat and ball to play with Grandma. And I was supposed to bring the balls, and when we got there, I realized that I had forgotten to put the balls in the car. So I wanted to change the subject. And I said, Jacob, what are you going to invent for your invention convention at school? And he looks up at me and he says, I already have my invention. I invented the bat ball. I said, honey, the bat and ball have already been invented. He said, no, mine's a baseball bat that I can open up and carry the balls inside like luggage so you won't forget them anymore. So I said, okay, Jake, we can do that. And we came home, cut the end off a bat, stuffed tennis balls in it, and he went off to school with his invention. Teacher called me the next day and she said, geez, Lisa, that's such a great idea. You should look into a patent. So I sat with my husband and, you know, he was like, well, you know, let's have fun with it. And that's how it started. We, uh, we had a mutual friend who, uh, who introduced me to Pete, who's an uh, uh, engineer and designer of products. Josh came up uh, and he showed me Jacob's idea. Uh, I looked at it from a manufacturing standpoint and came up with a few ideas. Probably within an hour, a little over an hour, with the SolidWorks program. We had the bat right in front of us, printed out so I could bring home a copy to lease. Pete lived in Massachusetts and we lived in Connecticut. I had two children. I was with child with our third child. And so traveling was not an option for us. So with SolidWorks, we did everything online. The primary thing I've done now is just send them a 3D website. I would open up my email and Pete would direct me to the link or the site that he had opened up. And I would just get right on there and we'd sit there and we'd be able to spin it around. We could just manipulate the product with the click of the mouse and spin it around 360, upside down. You know, pretty much look inside the bat. It was amazing. They can look at it, rotate it, and come back with comments and it just uh, speeds up the whole process. And then we sent the drawings down, the email. Uh, how Lisa made the contacts with Toys R Us and impressed them to begin with is spent basically just from images from SolidWorks. I had directed the buyer to the link online because a lot of our contact was online. So with SolidWorks, we were able to bring it to market faster because we had a picture of a product that hadn't been developed yet. And uh, the, the program gave her the tools to introduce the product to, uh, to Toys R Us. And Toys R Us was in interested, granted them an interview, and I was happy to go along. With the SolidWorks program, I was able to give the files to uh, Santon Engineering. They provided the model, we carried the model down. We gave the, the buyers at Toys R Us a physical model in one-third scale to actually see and touch and feel. And uh, I think that impressed them a whole lot. So we had landed the sale with Toys R Us before we actually had a product to sell. And when we were talking to the mold maker about time. Toys R Us saying, okay, you've got nine weeks. Are you going to be able to fill an order then? We were like, yeah, yeah, we can do it. When I told the, the flow molder I could have the cores and cavity information to the, the tool maker, uh, it took me less than 20 minutes to file, create the IGES files and send them to him. The tool maker couldn't believe it. Uh, he said it didn't have to do any alterations, no repairs. He was able to use the files just as I sent them. And so the first time that the mold ran, everything was intact perfectly. The caps fit on perfectly. Everything was perfect. And the blow molder said it's the first time in 30 years that he'd ever been able to put a mold in the press and make production within an hour. The second time that we met with Toys R Us, we were better prepared. We had a package. Um, we had the product. And um, the buyer said, um, it looks like you finally got everything that you need together and we want to test the market. And he, he, they ordered 12,000 bat balls. They're on the shelves as we speak. It's $8.99 at Toys R Us. Everything you do in the 3D modeling in SolidWorks, 
fits right into the manufacturing product. You know, today we only have time to do things once, and hopefully you do it right. And SolidWorks gives, gives me the edge in that respect.